So we saw that when we're calculating the volume for rectangular prisms, that we could just take the length times the width times the height, those three numbers, multiply them together, and get the total volume. Now finding the surface area was a little more complex because we had to take the dimensions and put them together in different combinations. So we had to figure out what the area is for three different size spaces. So that is actually expressed on this page by saying the surface area is equal to two times the length times the width. So that way and that way. So in other words, we're looking at this face right here. And it's two times that because we know we have another one up here. The next is two times the length times the height. So the length times the height. So that's this face right here. Which is equal to the length times the height. And then, and there are two of them, this one in front and the one in back, and then the width times the height. So that's this last page, the width times the height, last face, I should say, which is the width, that's the width, times the height. And there are two of those, the one in back and the one right here in front. So two times the width times width times the height, two times the length times the width, and two times the length, well, length and width, I did that one, length and height, that's length and that's this one, the orange one. So the length times the width here. Let's color code these so we don't get them mixed up, is this one. The length times the height is the orange one. So that's this one. And then the width times the height, which is this one, the green one. So there are two of each of those. So you add those surface areas up and you get the surface area for a rectangular prism. So now we're going to do something similar, only now we're looking at something called a prism. So two of the faces on a prism are going to be triangular. So let's look at that in a little more depth now.